All right, welcome to Linux Underdogs. This distribution uh, had a little bit of a following in the couple Linux community a couple years ago, and this just came under my radar. We are looking at Void Linux, and Void Linux is an independent Linux distribution, meaning that it's not based on Ubuntu, Arch Linux, Gentoo, Slackware, or any other distributions out there. They have their, uh, they built this basically from scratch with their own build system and their own package manager. All right, and uh, the desktop options that they have available with this on their live images are Cinnamon, LXDE, LXQT, um, Enlightenment, and of course, we're looking at the XFIS edition. Earlier today, I downloaded the LXDE and it didn't look that exciting. So we've got uh, XFIS right here. Basically, this is a distribution that you can build on top of. And each desktop contains all of the standard basics that would come with uh, those uh, user interfaces. So, for instance, in looking at uh, the menus here, these are all common applications that always ship with XFIS. Okay? Um, with the exception of Firefox, I think everybody throws Firefox into their distributions. But for the most part, these are all the packages that come included uh, with the XFIS desktop. All right, and one thing that you're going to notice here under system, there isn't an installer, okay? Basically, in order to install this, you're going to be required to be a little bit more of an advanced user. But the thing is, uh, this distribution is uh, fairly well documented on their website. That's right. We are looking at this as a live image. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal emulator, okay? And I'm going to first need to be logged in as root. So we're going to switch user. And then uh, the password is void Linux. One word, lowercase letters. You're going to see that we're now in a command prompt here. And then it's a void dash installer which presents you with an NCURSES installation interface. And uh, you have a slight little interrogation to go through to get, the pro to get this installed. All right, so first we're going to set up our uh, keyboard layout, and we are way down at the bottom, so I'm just going to type U to get uh, down here to where uh, we are for US, and then press Enter. All right, for the network, it's going to detect the network I already have installed here, and I'm going to press OK. All right, network is set up properly. Wonderful. Then we're going to set the source installation. Okay. Now, I earlier selected network install, and I could not get this to uh, boot into a graphical user interface um, from doing a network install. So this time, I'm going to try and do a local installation to see if it's going to provide all the necessary packages to get me into a bootable graphical user interface. Otherwise, uh, they do have instructions on the wiki on uh, manual post installation steps that you may have to go through. All right, and uh, for the system host name, I'm gonna call this uh, VBox because I'm running this in my uh, virtual machine here on a virtual solid state drive. Uh, locale, um, really, uh, nothing happens here, and I don't know why that it doesn't work, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're in America, New York. Ah, here we go. Root password. The usual uh, password for demonstrations is 1111. Okay, then we're going to set up a username and password. So we'll pick, and then... Uh, all right, and Spatry's password will be one one one. You know, I need to change that password on my desktop. <laughs> Not, and then it's going to give you an option for um for uh, different uh, member groups to be a member of. Okay, um, and so you might want to set up some of these here, like uh, you want to have access to root um as your user. You can do that. Um. There are other groups here that you may want to select your users to be able to have access to. So you have this available to you. Um, gives you a little bit more control. 
Okay, uh, we're going to select the bootloader and we want this to install on slash dev slash SDA. Uh, use a graphical terminal uh, for the bootloader, of course. All right, partition the disks, dev, dev SDA. Okay, I'm going to quit this because I've already partitioned this disk prior to um, starting the video. So we are done here with this. And then we're going to configure the mount system, the system and mount points slash dev slash SDA1. We'll get an ext4 partition and the mount point is root. Okay, and then this of course is swap. Okay, do you want to, no, we don't have to create a new file system for that. Okay, and then we're done. All right, and then we need to go into the installer. And yes. And now it's going to go ahead and uh, do its thing. It's going to unsquash the file systems and install the whole shebang for us. And of course, one of the advantages of working with... Uh, Everything on an SSD is, you can see that the installation is proceeding quite quickly. <laughs> Once you go SSD, you never want to use a real hard drive. Okay, it's saying Void Linux has been installed selects blah, blah, successfully. Do you want to reboot? Of course we do! All right, and here we are. We are logged in. We are going to log in. Okay, and then we're going to use the default configuration. And then now we've got a nice base system to work off of. And then the next step is to open up a terminal and start installing packages. So I need to sue xbps tech install. Tech S U V All right, and it's got 120 megs of data it needs to download. And then your updates will complete. And then at this point, your best bet is to go on their wiki and learn how to use this package manager because pretty much everything you're going to be installing into the system is going to require you to use the terminal. So definitely not newbie friendly, but uh, I have known a number of people who have uh, used Void Linux. They swear by it. They swear by its stability and it's uh, all around a great operating system for the Linux enthusiast. If you'd like to find out more about Void Linux, please click the link in the description and download a copy and try it out for yourself. That's all I have on today's episode. I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.